In olden times there lived a king who loved flax spinning more than anything else, and his daughter had to spin the entire day. Just like I like to play games the entire game, yes? <laughs> If he, he didn't hear the wheels humming, he became angry. One time he had to take a trip and before he said he said his farewell, he gave a large casket of flax to the queen and said, All this must be spun by the time I return. <laughs> The princess became distressed and wept. If we are to spin all of that flux, we'll have to sit the entire day, and, day, and we won't be able to get up at all. Something is making noises. But the queen replied, Console yourselves. I'll certainly help you. Now there were three especially ugly spinners into the realm, in the realm. The first, the first had such a huge lower lip that it hung beneath her chin. The second had an index finger on his right hand that was so thick and white that one could make three other fingers out of it. The third had a thick and white flat foot that was as large as a kitchen board. The queen summoned the three spin spinsters to the castle and on the day that the king was supposed to return home, she sat them down next to one another in her room, gave each one of them a spinning wheel and ordered them to spin. Moreover, she told each of them what to answer when the king questioned them. As soon as the king arrived, he heard the humming, the humming of the wheels from a distance and was so glad that he intended to prize his daughters. However, upon entering the room and seeing the horrible spin spinsters sitting there, he was at first startled. Then he stepped toward them and asked them first asked the first woman how she got the hideously large lower lip. From licking, from licking. <laughs> Then he asked the second where she got her thick finger from. From turning the thread, from turning the thread and twin, twinning it. Twinning it, yes. And she said this, she let the thread run around her finger a couple of times. Finally, he asked the third one where she got that flat food from, from stamping and from stamping. When the king heard all of this, he commanded the queen and the, prince, the princesses never ever to touch a spinning wheel again. And this is how they rid themselves of their agony. <laughs> uh, so they lied the king that all these disabilities have been from spinning. I see. Well, that was for today. Next fairy tale should be Hansel and Gretel, but this is for the next Thursday.